Hey there, welcome to Play Noggin. I'm Julian, your brains player too. We've been asking for suggestions for games you want to see, and one game came up over and over again. So buckle up, because today we're talking about Minecraft. It's a first-person voxel-based game where digging and crafting are pretty much all you do, hence Minecraft. As you dig, you uncover more useful elements, which you can then use to build just about anything your little blocky heart desires. One of these elements is what the game calls redstone, and redstone can essentially conduct electricity. This can be used to create electric lamps and minecarts, so you can see how it would be useful in a mining-oriented game. But some players think outside the block, and realize that the ability to build electric circuits opened up new possibilities, like building a computer. See, on their most basic level, computers work by interpreting electrical signals. A circuit can be on or off, it has two states, it's binary. You can think of a circuit with current running through it as representing a 1, and a circuit with no electricity as a 0. Furthermore, if multiple circuits are taken into consideration and run through what's called a logic gate, the gate does a simple calculation and outputs new information. There are seven different types of basic logic gates, and depending on the gate, the outcomes will be different. And if you put several logic gates in the right order, you can break down difficult calculations into simpler ones. Breaking down information into these ones and zeros, or bits, running them through calculations, and getting new information is the basis of information theory. And it's what makes watching YouTube videos about the science of Minecraft possible. Some Minecraft users have dedicated countless hours to building in-game computers. One such user, Hans Lemerson, even built one that simulates Minecraft within Minecraft. Sure, it was pixelated and laggy because his in-game computer was hindered by the limited number of calculations, or flops, it could do per second, but astoundingly, it worked. It had created a blocky simulation of a world inside a blocky simulation of our world. So what if we take that one step higher? What if our world is just a simulation too? No, I'm not wearing a tinfoil hat right now. It's actually the subject of some scholarly discussion. Just this year, scientists gathered to debate the possibility at the Isaac Asimov Memorial Debate, moderated by none other than Neil deGrasse Tyson. Some arguments are compelling. Theoretical physicist James Gates says he keeps finding equations from information theory while researching how subatomic particles might behave. There's also a logical explanation of why we'd be a simulation. We use supercomputers to run simulations of our own world, and as they get more powerful, our simulations get more detailed. It's believed that once our computers are capable of exaflop speed, or a billion billion calculations per second, we'll be able to simulate the Earth down to a kilometer scale. Maybe some other life form has created unfathomably powerful computers to run an entire universe down to the subatomic level to answer their own questions about life, the universe, and everything. Neil deGrasse Tyson himself puts the odds at 50-50. Of course, if we lived inside a simulation, how would we ever know? The key is probably to look for shortcuts the programmers took. Minecraft worlds are enormous, and you can interact with every piece of it, so in order to make it runnable for a typical computer, all the people had to look like Blocko, and the world had to be chunky and square. Even though our hypothetical computer might be extremely powerful, it can't be infinitely so. Maybe we can find evidence of resource saving, like anomalies in cosmic rays that suggest space isn't continuous. Until we do, it's fun to ponder the possibilities. If our world is a simulation, what if we're just low-res avatars? Then what would the outside world look like? Were we made in some creature's image, or are we entirely imagined? Would the laws of physics be the same, or are ours just an approximation? What if the organisms that made us are a simulation themselves? Where does it end? And most interestingly to me, are our choices real, or are our thoughts just ones and zeros running through logic gates with an inevitable outcome? We just may never know. Hey, thanks for watching. Like I said, this episode was made after viewer suggestions, so if there's a game you want to see, be sure to let us know in the comments. I'd like to thank YouTubers Kestel Caden, the Maniacal Gamer, for his great work on Minecraft logic gates, and Hans Lemerson for his excellent demonstration of a Minecraft simulating computer inside Minecraft. If you like the work we're putting out, subscribe for weekly episodes, and don't forget to keep on playing.